name is Thomas Torville, uh, five foot nine, sitting at about 194 pounds right now. Last competition I did was the Arnold Classic last year in 2018. I am getting ready for the Arnold Classic this year, 2019, which is a week from now, well, six days next Friday. And uh, after that, I'll be doing the NPC Border Class, which is March 23rd. Um, for a second show back to back and then I'll go ahead into my off season. Um, this is my training partner. I'll let him introduce himself. Uh, the name's John Drotty. I'm 18, 6'3", sitting about 201 this morning. I'm getting ready for my first show, NPC Border Class, under the guidance of Thomas here and um, really excited to be hitting my first show. Uh, I compete in classic physique and he'll be doing teen bodybuilding. Okay, go ahead and uh, take us through your workout today. I know it was a depletion. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, today was an upper body depletion day. We, warm, we warmed up today with a few sets of pull-ups and then went over into a little bit heavier of a movement and did our T-bar rows. Uh, from T-bar rows, we went over and did a higher lat pull-down um, to focus on the middle of the back and, and a little bit of the wide portion. Um, so after we did that high lat row machine, we moved over to lat pull downs and then moved over to some cable rows along with tricep push downs. Uh, we did single arm. I like to just kind of activate it and make sure that you get a good squeeze on each arm first. And then we moved over to doing some side delt raises. Um, I personally like to do them standing. Some people like to do them seated. Um, I just feel like I get a better squeeze and I can lean forward a little bit and make sure I really hit the side delt. Um, we superset that with some overhead tricep extensions, uh, moved on to some bicep curls. Um, I like doing supinated and coming all the way down and making sure that I flex my tricep at the bottom of my bicep movements just to make sure that I fully stretch out the bicep in to its in longest state um, before curling. And then we moved on from there and did a kind of a variation of a skull crusher. It's almost like a seated upright skull crusher. Um, I just really like the way it feels on the back of the tricep. Um, it feels like it gets the meatier head of the tricep. Um, and then from there, we moved on to just some cable flies, um, just to hit a little bit of that. We did chest last night, so we just did a few sets on cable flies just to help deplete a little bit more. How long have you been prepping for the show? Bro? I've been prepping since uh, November 12th. So okay. it'll be about 16 weeks for the Arnold prep and about 19 weeks total for the Border Clash prep. Okay, uh, go ahead and tell us a little bit about uh, how your diet progressed, what you changed, and like if you included cardio or anything like that? Um, so my, we do a macro-based diet, so we do fats, carbs, and proteins and track all that. Um, for the most part, we just manipulate our carbs and our fats uh, each week, bringing them down uh, a little bit at a time. Sometimes there's bigger jumps, but it's usually about 20 or 30 grams of carbs, maybe two or three grams of fat that we manipulate each week, and then we'll add cardio in as we go. Um, I had started off with like three days of cardio at 20 minutes to where now I'm at 50 minutes, five days a week. And actually for the rest of this week, I'll be doing it every day until next Thursday, I believe. So I'll be doing more than five days this week of 50 minutes of cardio just for depletion week and making sure that I can make weight. And because you're, what, what are you weighing right now, then? Uh, right now I'm weighing 194 um, in the morning, and I need to be 190 for stage for my height and weight in classic physique. Okay. And uh, just so people get a kind of all-around idea of what you do, go ahead and talk about your job a little bit, what you do, Ben. Um, I work for Duke Energy. I work in the nuclear power plant, the Catawba nuclear power plant to be exact. Uh, I'm a maintenance technician. We work on a little bit of everything. Um, I was specifically working on control valves. My schedule's changed around a little bit. Uh, just recently, I got moved to a new team. So we do a little bit of everything. It's called uh, SPOC. And the thing is, hard. the hardest part about moving to my new job is the fact that it's a rotating schedule. So I work some weekends, some nights, some days, and it constantly rotates, and it's all 12-hour shifts. Mm -hmm. That's brutal. <laughs> um, what got you into bodybuilding, bud? How'd you get into the uh, sport? Um, I mean, I started training when I was younger, probably 
2008, 2009, um, because I was 119 pounds soaking wet. Uh, and then I wanted to get bigger, obviously put some muscle on and hopefully meet some girls or something like that. And competing since 2013, um, enjoying the process, seeing the changes year by year. I don't necessarily compete every year because it takes time to put on some quality size. Um, but I've done probably about six competitions in my bodybuilding career that I have so far. And how do you get started, by? So um, I entered the gym 2016, around my freshman year of high school. I broke my leg wrestling, and my dad signed me up for this gym saying, let's get you strong so this doesn't happen again. So I started lifting, and I just fell in love with the process of, like, lifting weights, bodybuilding, putting on muscle. So I just said, you know, forget um, school-sponsored sports. I want to go all in on this bodybuilding thing. I started researching, eating, everything, and then I met Thomas – who like really showed me the way, and now I'm just really hyped to get pro, uh, start on my first MPC show, and hopefully I can make something out of this. Yeah, man. Well, good luck on your first show. Uh, I appreciate it. Thomas, with um, your show, bud, uh, you're looking crazy. Uh, good luck and everything, and maybe we'll catch up with you later this year, man, if I come back down and uh, see you before the other show. Absolutely. Uh, maybe you'll be a pro and you won't have to do the second show. <laughs> maybe. We'll yeah, see. You see. never know. Anyone you'd like to thank, Butter? Uh, I'd like to thank you uh, for all your support and everything that you've done for me. I'd like to thank Ty Young for being my coach, for everything he's done for me, uh, telling me to suck it up when I have to and not not sugarcoating anything throughout any of the processes. Um, and really just anybody out there that supports me, all my friends, family, mom, dad, everyone's my whole family supports me and all this stuff. So that means a lot because I know it's hard because a lot of people don't understand it. And they don't necessarily understand it, but they are happy because I'm happy. So pretty much friends, family, and anyone else that follows me on any type of social media.